What's up everybody? Damon here with your fix of entertainment news. Coming up, we've got glimpses of some classic superhero iconography soon to hit the big screen, Hugh Jackman's mask for Deadpool and Wolverine, and the official S of James Gunn's Superman next year. Plus, if you can't take show tunes seriously, rest assured, Joker Folia Do isn't a full-on musical. Let's drop it. CinemaCon 2024 is going on right now, and while it's primarily a trade show for movie distributors and theater owners, some news has come out that's bound to excite fans as well. Namely, our first look at Hugh Jackman's full yellow and blue costume, including the mask from this summer's Deadpool and Wolverine. The source of this reveal? A soda cup. The movie podcast on Twitter posted a photo of a product sample being shown off at the event that features both titular Weapon X program alumni in full superhero attire. Deadpool is business as usual, and Wolverine from the neck down is in line with some of the set photos we've seen floating around. Wolverine's mask, however, is something to get excited about. Despite Deadpool and Wolverine being the 10th time in 24 years that Hugh Jackman will appear as the iconic mutant, this will be the first time he's actually donned the equally iconic yellow costume. 2013's The Wolverine featured a post credit scene teasing the Wolverine mask, but Jackman never actually put it on, so for a lot of X fans, this is long overdue. The image on the cup isn't a photo from the film, rather a digital illustration or composite. That being said, if it's being carted out in front of distributors, I bet it's in line with what we'll see on screen when Deadpool and Wolverine hits theaters on July 26th. Meanwhile, on the DC front, we also got the official reveal of Superman's S insignia as it will appear in James Gunn's 2025 Cinematic Universe reboot. The Cinemark movie theater chain shared a snapshot of the logo during a CinemaCon presentation, which was verified by IGN. This logo may look familiar to comic fans, as it bears a very close resemblance to the S, as it appears in the 1996 graphic novel Kingdom Come. That story takes place in a bleak alternate timeline where Superman comes out of retirement to assemble a new Justice League. We don't know much about Gunn's film, aside from the fact that it's not an origin story. Gunn has said it will focus on an adult Clark Kent, who's already been Supermanning for a while, though presumably not long enough to be considering hanging up the cape, which has fans wondering if this was just an aesthetic design choice or if there's any connection to Kingdom Come. How do you think this new logo ranks compared to the previous Superman insignias? Is this an S rank S or does it take the L? Drop an F in the comments to pay your respects. Last night, we got the long-awaited trailer for Todd Phillips' Joker sequel, Fully Adieu, which features Joaquin Phoenix reprising his role as Arthur Fleck, this time joined by his Harley Quinn, played by Lady Gaga. Early reports have suggested that the sequel will be a full-on movie musical, and while there are a few shots in the trailer that support this theory, director Todd Phillips said otherwise. Speaking during a presentation at CinemaCon, he explained that while music is an essential element of the film, the team never talked about it as being a full musical. Phillips said Foley Adieu won't veer too far from the tone of the original, but pointed out that Phoenix's Joker has always had music in him. A recent Variety report states that the soundtrack features 15 cover songs, along with a couple original ones, so it'll be interesting to see how they'll come into play. We'll have to wait until Foley Adieu hits theaters on October 4th, to get the full picture, but I'm sure we'll hear a few more details between now and then. And that is your fix of entertainment news for Wednesday, April 10th, 2024. If you're tired of superhero movies, I have great news. Prime Video's Fallout series is apparently the latest video game show to get it right. iTunes reviewer gave the first season a 9 out of 10, so go check that out if you're still on the fence about binging all eight episodes when they drop tonight. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.